Hey, how's it going everyone? It's your girl, Ash Coyote, and today we're checking out WikiHow again. So in the past, I made this video about WikiHow and it was kind of going through one of their, let's say less than helpful furry tutorials. Well, guess what I found? I actually found a semi-helpful furry tutorial on WikiHow. And that got me thinking, it's like, hey, you know, like sometimes WikiHow can have good stuff. Not very often, but sometimes it does have semi useful information. So I thought it could be kind of fun to just, you know, like go on the site, check it out and like, like go through the article. Um, but before we get started, um, I want to ask you guys a question. Hey, what do you guys think of WikiHow in the first place? You know, like, like draw me a comment in the comment section below. What's your favorite WikiHow page? I want to hear all about it. Okay. So let me know down there in the comment section. Um, all right, guys. So let's go on WikiHow. Let's, uh, let's type in furry. All right. So the article I'm talking about articles right here. It's called how to make a furry persona. A persona! Who would have thought? Obviously it's different than your standard wiki how art which is just I don't know let's say weird. Uh, I don't know who does their art but it's um it's a thing. So this was updated six months ago. It has 304,000 views and honestly it's quite entertaining. It's it's quite special so we're gonna Take a look, okay? We have the little preface here, the preface beforehand. Now, mind you, when I say that this is a good WikiHow article, I mean, it's better than the other WikiHow articles, but not by much. It's just, it's WikiHow. I mean, what else do you expect? A fursona is a representation of yourself in the furry subculture, rather displayed as an animal with human characteristics. This character can be a sort of alter ego of yourself or a direct representation of yourself combined with that of some species of animal. Not all personas have to be based directly on you though. This is simply a rough guide. There are no rules to making a persona besides not stealing someone else's. Um, good advice. Don't steal someone else's persona, kids. Please don't. I've had a few people do that to me and you know, it's um, it's not very nice. And yeah, it, it just makes everybody upset ultimately. So like, be good, you know, like be creative. Try some new, who knows? Steps. Species. Okay, species, that makes sense. This is usually the hardest part for most folks, by the way, picking your species. I mean, like it takes forever to settle. I usually recommend if you're actually trying to do this seriously and actually trying to create your own fursona, I mean, find something that kind of fits you because it's a representation of yourself. So usually I recommend trying to pick something that's similar, right? Let's see. So number one, it says, choose a species for your fursona to be. Do your research and figure out what animals you like most and what, anif <laughs> and what animals you identify with. There are tons of animals out there to choose from, including reptiles of all kinds, avians, birds and anything with feathers, amphibians, horses, goats, skunks, and thousands of other species out there. Uh, you don't see a lot of amphibians, goats, and skunks in the fandom. Just throwing that out there. But you know, like they, they could make an interesting species. Also, you know, like they're not really furry. I, I, I think amphibians um, specifically, and you know, like lizards and stuff, aren't they, aren't they kind of scalies? Uh, I, I don't know what an amphibian actually is. A slimy maybe, uh, gross. Don't be afraid to venture out from the idea of just sticking to a cat or dog. You can even mix animals together. Use a fantasy creature or even make up your own. If you can't decide on just one, you're also free to make a hybrid or multiple personas. I mean, that's totally true. I mean, hybrid personas are fun. I mean, you could be a full for a snow for a drox or a, I don't know. What, what's a weird, what's a weird hybrid? A hotter, a husky otter. Yes, you can be a hotter. Or maybe a hunk, a husky skunk. Then that's, mm, mm, yeah, it's like a Chad Sona. Nobody wants a Chad Sona. <laughs> Fuck that. Okay, so like, yeah, when you're picking your persona, just pick something that fits you. I mean, honestly, let your imagination go wild. There's also a lot of really cool original species now, depending on the owner, they might be like, hey, yo, you have to like commission me to get this. But like things like Dutch angel dragons, you know, those are really cool, you know, or like uh, protogens and stuff, also awesome. Coat color, purple, markings on hands and legs, human skin with furry head. No, no human skin with furry head. Don't do that. That's bad. That's nasty. We don't want human skin in a furry head. That's, <laughs> no, 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 no. That's the hybrid none of us wanted to see too. Think of a design for your fursona, like coat color and markings on it. I mean, 
makes sense, right? That's that's a logical next step. You know, pick out your markings. You know, obviously pick out something that really fits you. This can be natural looking or crazy as you want it to be. You could have anything from simply gray colored wolf to a turquoise phoenix or a yellow Komodo dragon with red stripes, a black tail, with red stripes and a black tail. Your fursona can also have tattoos, piercings, patches of different colored fur, feathers, scales, and skin. Please don't let it have skin. I don't want to see any skin sodas. I really don't. I don't like that. I don't like that. No, no, nobody in the fandom likes that, okay? We don't need skin sodas. That's, uh, that's what we are already. This is my skin soda. Look, it's called me. It's called me. You know, like, ditching the fantasy side here. Tattoos and fur, they don't really work, do they? They don't. Aw, oh, it has whiskers, messy bangs, and a bunny tail. My laptop is making a sound that makes it sound like an airplane taking off. What the fuck, laptop? What the fuck? Let's see. So we're on part number three. Uh, so think of species details that you would like this persona to have. Do they wear clothing? Do they have anything interesting or noteworthy? Does your persona have feral proportions or is it anthro with human-like proportions? Come up with details like this when you're making your persona. It's common sense, you know, like you want you want to kind of be specific when you're coming up with your persona, just be specific. Sketch out what your animal looks like. This can help you decide on the certain character traits you want your persona to have. If you can't draw too well, search up bases on fur affinity, media bang, paint, or deviant art and color them. Just make sure you credit the base artist. Also make sure that that base is actually free to use. Some people just put like ideas for ref sheets out there just so people can be like, hey, you know, like I'm open for commissions. So, you know, like just double, triple check. Make sure all that's in the clear before you go off stealing somebody's artwork. I mean, you don't want to steal people's artwork. This is, it's not a nice thing. Let's see. They're outspoken, intelligent, not usually aggressive, only when challenged or concerned, has a lust for life, loves to dance. Don't we all love to dance? So four, decide on aspects of your persona's personality. I mean, course you know like it's, it's gonna be you so make it you I don't know some people do choose to do like an interpretation of their persona they tend to be like hey you know like this is my idealized self and that's okay too you know like sometimes you want to work towards something sometimes you want to become something that's a little bit different than what you are right now and that's that's okay that's totally fine I mean that's not like it's unacceptable I think the most important thing is to just really like use your creativity, use your imagination and, and, and try something new, you know, like maybe you'll find something that really fits you and makes you feel great. Okay, so let's see what they say. If you're only making this persona to have a representation of yourself as an animal within the subculture, you're already done. See, that's easy. If not, think about new traits for them, such as what they like and dislike, their good character traits and their downfalls. It may be tempting to create a perfect and cool character, but a persona with both positive traits as well as shortcomings is more interesting and can be related to. I agree. I wholeheartedly agree with that. Um, you know, like we're all we're all people. We all make mistakes. We all deal with our own shortcomings on the daily. I do. I'm freaking flawed, okay? Like, look at me. Yeah, this is this is a face of a flawed person right here. I mean, that's that's just kind of like the nature of life, and I think that's one of those really important things when you look at something like this. this it's just like it's about having fun, right? But it's also about being kind of a true to yourself, you know, like true to your person, true to who you are. And I, I mean, like that that's really what it cuts down to at the end of the day. That's what's most important. Okay, I, I have no idea how to pronounce this name. Name Priiru, 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 Priiru. All right, so the last step, five. Think of a name for your persona. I'm gonna be honest with this. I'm not very creative. My name is Ash in real life. So my persona's name is Ash. Uh, <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Very creative, Ash, very creative. You are one creative individual. No, not when it comes to names. Um, <laughs> That was like, yeah, you know, it's a thing. So it says, think of a name for your persona. This could be your own name. It's me! Or you can pick a name that you find interesting. Nobody can claim a persona name, so don't feel a pressure to make a unique name if you don't want to. If you're having trouble coming up with a name, feel free to search through baby name sites 
think of words, or even words in other languages, that reflect something about your character, or ask the community for help. I mean, that's all good advice. Um, I will say this thing, we have a ton of Dakotas in the fandom, and like, oh my god, we have a ton of like, I'm, I'm trying to think if there's a ton of ashes. <laughs> But I'm the OG Ash, okay? I'm the OG Ash. I'm the real Ash. My name is actually Ash. Therefore, I win. Therefore, you cannot claim my name. Ash Coyote wins. Actually, I don't know what I'm talking about. You can you can name your son Ash. I don't care. Um, <laughs> but like, so like, here here's the thing. You know, like, just just have fun with it. You know, like, just like everything else in this community, it's about having fun. It's about being creative. It's about doing the things that you like and that goes straight into your name. You know, pick something that represents you, pick something that you like, and you know, call it happy. All right, guys, there you have it. So this was the quasi good WikiHow article, the kind of accurate and kind of not how to create your fursoda. I mean, if, if you were if you were completely ignorant to the community, if you had no interaction with the community up until this point, this article actually might help you a little bit. I mean, it's not it's not bad. WikiHow though is still comical to look at from kind of a you know like a humorous perspective, from an entertainment perspective, which is exactly what this video is intended to be. You know, this video is intended to be for entertainment purposes, where we're just having fun looking at weird stuff on the internet, which is so important to remember whenever we talk about this stuff. You know, I'm, I'm not trying to make fun of these artists, you know, like who did this stuff. I'm not trying to make fun of anybody who follows these guides because I think sometimes, hey, it might be helpful for you. So if it helps you, great. If it doesn't, hey, so that, that's, that's, also, that's also valid too. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you aren't already. And drop me a comment in the comment section below. I want you to tell me all about your experiences on WikiHow. Do you like the site? Do you think the site is weird? Do you think they ever have good advice? Did you think that this video had good advice when it was covering this particular WikiHow article? Let me know in the comment section below and I will catch you guys later. Lots of love, everyone. Wow, that, that doesn't look like a heart. Is that, yeah. Mm, bye.